Hi everybody, welcome to another week of Meals on the Seesaw and we're starting the week this week with a simple fish bake. So this is just the bottom of a casserole dish. I took some salmon um, fillets which I just cut into small pieces, you can see in there. Um, and then I cut, took a small head of broccoli and cut that into small florets and put um, a couple of good handfuls of frozen peas all in the bottom of casserole. I then made a simple white sauce with 50 grams of butter, 50 grams of flour and 500 mils of milk. You want it quite pourable so it's a little bit more milk than I would nor would use for a kind of thicker sauce. Um, then once that was kind of bubbled up and cooked through I added in a couple of handfuls of cheddar cheese, a little bit of black pepper, poured that over the salmon, broccoli and peas and then topped it with some sliced potatoes that I had just blanched for about, or parboiled for about three or four minutes. Um, I sliced them and then parboiled them um, and just layered those over the top, sprayed with a little bit of spray oil and put the whole thing in the oven for about 25 minutes. And then I cooked a few more sliced potatoes in the active fryer just to have on the side. So it's a simple little salmon and broccoli bake to start off our new week. Hi everybody, so it is Wednesday evening and tonight we've got a sticky sweet fire chicken. This is a really simple dish, so I've got some little pieces of chicken, um, just diced chicken. I coated them in a flour mixture, seasoned flour, which was seasoned with some black pepper, garlic and ginger powder. I then dipped them in the egg and then back in the flour. I put them on a baking tray coated with foil and just sprayed with some oil, baked them in the oven. 200 degrees for about 10 minutes, turned them over about another 15 minutes till they were cooked through. And then in a jug, I mixed half a cup of um, sweet chili sauce, um, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and probably about a teaspoon and a half of sriracha. Mixed that all together. And then I just sauteed off some onions, peppers, some um, sugar snap peas, and some little pieces of pineapple. Um, once the chicken was cooked I added that into the pan and then poured the sauce all over to combine it all together and we just got that with some white rice. Last night um, I was really late home from work, it was after 7 before I even left work so we did have a cheeky takeaway last night. Um, the boys picked up um, a McDonald's which we haven't had again since a long time ago and actually I, I had the chicken fillets and I actually really quite enjoyed it, the McDonald's chips actually were a welcome treat. Um, so been a bit all over the place the last couple of weeks just because my work load is immense at the moment and I'm working really long days so that always sends things a little bit into flux but I was determined I was going to make dinner tonight so sweet fire chicken for a Wednesday night. Hi everybody so it's Thursday evening and a really quick and simple pasta supper tonight so I took a package of chipolata sausages chopped them into little chunks sorted them off in the skillet in a little bit of oil just to cook them through and then when they were cooked through I added a chopped onion and some garlic to the pan let the onion soften up a little bit then I added a can of chopped tomatoes and a couple of teaspoons of chilli powder for some seasoning um, and then let that bubble away for about 10 minutes while I cooked up a pan of pasta and I've just combined the two together we'll have a little bit of parmesan or cheddar on the top and then I've just cooked some of these part baked rolls in the oven just to serve alongside it. So this is super, super simple, like 20 minutes on the table. Um, it's been a really long week. I've worked really long days this week. I think the earliest I've been home has been about seven o'clock. So it's just been one of those weeks and I wanted something really quick and simple to get on the table tonight. So that is our Thursday night sausage pasta supper with um, some part baked rolls. Hi everybody, so it's Friday night, um, as you can see, not our meal plan tonight, we're going to have Brinner. But Tony has gone out for a drink with one of his friends, they've gone to test the whole pub experience to see how that is. Um, so Caleb and I, we took him and dropped him at the pub and then we decided to have ourselves a treat for Friday night. So I've got fish, chips and mushy peas. Caleb, what have you got? Chips with vinegar. Um ketchup, battered sausage and battered fish. Oh, you've got a combo plate. So off to enjoy this. We're going to sit in the garden and eat this and uh, it's been a really long week. I am really glad it is Friday today. So yep, off to enjoy our Friday night fish supper. Hi 
Hi everybody, so it's Saturday evening and tonight we've got a really simple chilli mac and cheese. Um, so this is exactly what it says on the tin, it's just all made in one big pan, very um, simple to make. So I took an onion and some garlic, just cooked it off for about a minute, added a chopped red pepper, cooked it for a, well, a couple of minutes and then cooked it for another minute with the pepper in. Then I added to that a package of mints, you could use any kind of mints that you prefer in your house. Um, and let that brown and then I added my own seasoning mix which is two teaspoons of paprika it's my standard chili mix so two teaspoons of paprika and then one teaspoon each of chili powder oregano cumin and onion granules and then half a teaspoon of black pepper you can add salt if you want to but I don't ever add salt to anything like that so I stirred that through the meat mixture and then I added a tablespoon each of tomato puree and Worcestershire sauce a can of chopped tomatoes um, combined that all together, added 800 mils of stock, you could use chicken, beef, vegetable, whatever you prefer. Um, I used two stock cubes and I dissolved each one in um, 400 mils of water. So um, pour that in, give it a stir around and then you want to add in 250 grams of pasta. Now I wanted to use macaroni but they didn't have any at the store today so I've used penne which is the closest I can get, it's a little bit bigger. Um, bring it up to a boil, turn the heat down, put the lid on, cook it for about 10 minutes, take the lid off, let it bubble away for about another 5 minutes. And then you want to stir through a couple of good handfuls of grated cheese. And then once you've stirred that in and the cheese has melted, put another layer of cheese across the top. So again another handful or so. And then just pop it into a 200 degree oven for about 10 minutes for the cheese to get nice and melty on the top. So it's very simple, all in one pot. Um, and that is mine and that is Caleb's. Also when you add the chopped tomatoes in you can add a, add a can of kidney beans or black beans but as this is a family meal and we've got a no bean in eating child um, there's no beans in it but you could certainly add that to add to the chilli um, feel of it. But off to enjoy this on Saturday night. Hi everybody, it's Sunday again and tonight we've got a yummy chicken and dumplings um, with mashed potatoes and steamed vegetables. So this is some chicken thighs that I quartered and then cooked them in a little bit of butter with some onion just until the chicken was cooked through and just starting to colour on the edges. And then I added two teaspoons of flour <clears throat> and just stirred that around a little bit. Added in 150 mils of white wine just gradually to let that combine together to make a little bit of a kind of pasty sauce in the bottom of the pan. Then I added 300 mils of chicken stock, brought that up to a boil, let it boil away for about 15 minutes. Then added 150 mils of double cream, some chopped tarragon and some chopped parsley and a little bit of pepper, black pepper. And then let that cook for about another 10 minutes. And then I made some simple dumplings. So these are not the ones with suet and stuff in. This is just self-raising flour with butter grated in. That's a trick when you're using, when you want something like scones or biscuits in the States or um, dumplings and you want just a light touch on them so they're not handled too much. If you put your butter in the freezer, so I had 200 grams of self-raising flour and 100 grams of butter, take it out of the freezer and grate it in. It combines really quickly. Um, added in a little bit more of the parsley and some mixed herbs and some salt and pepper and then about four tablespoons of water just to bring it together into a dough. Made 12 little dumpling balls of that, put it on top of the chicken mixture and popped it in a 200 degree oven for again about another 10 minutes just until the um, the dumplings were cooked through. Probably, I don't know, it's perhaps more like 15 to 20 minutes for that actually. Um, until you can tell that they're cooked through, um, they're nice and brown on the top and they're um, not too doughy in the middle. And so that's our Sunday night dinner that we're going to eat outside this evening. Caleb's had a haircut. Do you want to show people your haircut? Yeah. Okay, so Caleb's had his haircut. You have to step back a bit. There you go. Show, show the side. Wow. One side's a little bit more cut than the other. Okay. This side's more cut than this side. Okay. Uh, Daddy did it, didn't he? Yeah. His so. hair made me look like a footballer. Oh, you look like a footballer. Who did you say you think you look like? Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. Does he and have hair, hair like that? The back. Okay. Except, yeah, but he has, uh, but he has the sides on the side of his hair, which oh, okay. is also blonde. Right. Okay. It fades away. Okay, a fade. Yeah. Fade cut. <laughs> that was a thing when I was a teenager. A fade cut. 
anyway we're off to eat our sunday night dinner thank you for joining us for another week of meals on the seesaw and we'll see you back here soon bye